The Internet Archive is a San Francisco-based non-profit digital library with the stated mission of universal access to all knowledge. It provides free public access to collections of digitized materials, including websites, software applications, games, music, movies, videos, moving images, and nearly 3 million public domain books. As of May 2014, its collection topped 15 petabytes. In addition to its archiving function, the Archive is an activist organization, advocating for a free and open Internet. The Internet Archive allows the public to upload and download digital material to its data cluster, but the bulk of its data is collected automatically by its web crawlers, which work to preserve as much of the public web as possible. Its web archive, the Wayback Machine, contains over 150 billion web captures. The Archive also oversees one of the world's largest book digitization projects. Founded by Bruce DeKarl in 1996, the Archive is a 501 non-profit operating in the United States. It has an annual budget of $10 million, derived from a variety of sources. Revenue from its web crawling services, various partnerships, grants, donations, and the Carl Austin Foundation. Its headquarters are in San Francisco, California, where about 30 of its 200 employees work. Most of its staff work in its book scanning centers. The archive has data centers in three Californian cities, San Francisco, Redwood City, and Richmond. Its collection is mirrored for stability and endurance at both the Bibliotheca Alexandrina in Egypt and at another facility in Amsterdam. The Archive is a member of the International Internet Preservation Consortium and was officially designated as a library by the State of California in 2007. History Bruce DeKarl founded the Archive in 1996 at the same time that he began the for-profit web crawling company Alexa Internet. In 1996, the Internet Archive had begun to archive and preserve the World Wide Web. The archived content wasn't available until 2001, when it developed the Wayback Machine. In late 1999, the Archive expanded its collections beyond the Web Archive, beginning with the Prelinga Archives. Now the Internet Archive includes texts, audio, moving images, and software. It hosts a number of other projects. The NASA Images Archive, the Contract Crawling Service Archive It, and the Wiki Editable Library Catalog and Book Information Site Open Library. Soon after that, the Archive began working to provide specialized services relating to the information access needs of the print disabled, publicly accessible books were made available in a protected digital accessible information system format. According to its website, most societies place importance on preserving artifacts of their culture and heritage. Without such artifacts, civilization has no memory and no mechanism to learn from its successes and failures. Our culture now produces more and more artifacts in digital form. The Archive's mission is to help preserve those artifacts and create an Internet library for researchers, historians, and scholars. In August 2012, the Archive announced that it has added BitTorrent to its file download options for over 1.3 million existing files, and all newly uploaded files. This method is the fastest means of downloading media from the Archive, as files are served from two Archive data centers. In addition to other torrent clients which have downloaded and continue to serve the files, on November 6, 2013, the Internet Archive's headquarters in San Francisco's Richmond District caught fire, destroying equipment and damaging some nearby apartments. According to the Archive, it lost a side building housing one of 30 of its scanning centers. Cameras, lights, and scanning equipment worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Maybe 20 boxes of books and film, some irreplaceable, most already digitized, and some replaceable. The non-profit archive sought donations to cover the estimated $600,000 in damage. Worldwide Web Archiving 
Wayback Machine The Internet Archive has capitalized on the popular use of the term WABAC machine from a segment of the old Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon and uses the name of Wayback Machine for its service that allows archives of the World Wide Web to be searched and accessed. This service allows users to view archived web pages. The Wayback Machine was created as a joint effort between Alexa Internet and the Internet Archive when a three-dimensional index was built to allow for the browsing of archived web content. Millions of websites and their associated data are saved in a database. The service can be used to see what previous versions of websites used to look like to grab original source code from websites that may no longer be directly available, or to visit websites that no longer even exist. Not all websites are available because many website owners choose to exclude their sites. As with all sites based on data from web crawlers, the Internet Archive misses large areas of the web for a variety of other reasons. A 2004 paper found international biases in the coverage, but deemed them not intentional. The use of the term Wayback Machine in the context of the Internet Archive has become so common that Wayback Machine and Internet Archive are almost synonymous. This usage occurs in popular culture, e.g., in the television show Law and Order. Criminal Intent, an extra playing a computer tech uses the Wayback Machine to find and archive of a student's Facebook-style website. Snapshots usually take at least 6 to 18 months to be added. A Save Page Now archiving feature was made available in October 2013, accessible on the lower right of the Wayback Machine's main page. Once a target URL is entered and saved, if the target website permits access via robots.txt, the web page will become part of the Wayback Machine. Archive it created in early 2006. Archive it is a web archiving subscription service that allows institutions and individuals to build and preserve collections of digital content and create digital archives. Archive it allows the user to customize their capture or exclusion of web content they want to preserve for cultural heritage reasons. Through a web application, Archive it partners can harvest, catalog, manage, browse, search and view their archived collections. In terms of accessibility, the archived websites are full text searchable within seven days of capture. Content collected through Archive it is captured and stored as a WARC file. A primary and backup copy is stored at the Internet Archive data centers. A copy of the WARC file can be given to subscribing partner institutions for geo-redundant preservation and storage purposes to their best practice. Standards. The data captured through Archive It is periodically indexed into the Internet Archive's General Archive. As of March 2014, update, Archive It had over 275 partner institutions in 46 U.S. states and 16 countries that have captured over 7.4 billion URLs for over 2,444 public collections. Archive it partners are universities and college libraries, state archives, federal institutions, museums, law libraries and cultural organizations, including the Electronic Literature Organization, North Carolina State Archives and Library, Stanford University, Columbia University, American University in Cairo, Georgetown Law Library and many others. Books Collections Text collection The Internet Archive Text Archive collection includes digitized books and special collections from various libraries and cultural heritage institutions from around the world. The Internet Archive operates 33 scanning centers in five countries, digitizing about 1,000 books a day for a total of over 2 million books, financially supported by libraries and foundations. As of July 2013, update, the collection included 4.4 million books with over 15 million downloads per month. As of November 2008, update, when there were about 1 million texts, 
the entire collection was over 0.5 petabytes, which includes raw camera images, cropped and skewed images, PDFs, and raw OCR data. Between about 2006 and 2008 Microsoft's corporation had a special relationship with Internet Archive texts through its Live Search Books project scanning over 300,000 books which were contributed to the collection, as well as financial support and scanning equipment. On May 23, 2008, Microsoft announced it would be ending the live book search project and no longer scanning books. Microsoft made its scanned books available without contractual restriction and donated its scanning equipment to its former partners. Around October 2007, archive users began uploading public domain books from Google Book Search. As of November 2013 there were over 900,000 Google digitized books in the archives collection. The books are identical to the copies found on Google, except without the Google watermarks, and are available for unrestricted use and download. Bruce DeCarl revealed in 2013 that this archival effort was coordinated by Aaron Swartz, who with her bunch of friends downloaded the public domain books from Google slow enough and from enough computers to stay within Google's restrictions. They did this to ensure public access to the public domain. The archive ensured the items were attributed and linked back to Google, which never complained, while libraries grumbled. According to Cal, this is an example of Swartz's genius to work on what could give the most to the public good for millions of people. Besides books, the archive offers free and anonymous public access to more than 4 million court opinions, legal briefs, or exhibits uploaded from the United States Federal Courts PACER electronic document system via the Recap web browser plugin. All of these documents are in the public domain, but had been kept from the public behind a federal court paywall. On the archive, they had been accessed by over 6 million people by 2013. Number of texts for each language Number of texts for each decade Open Library The Open Library is another project of the Internet Archive. The site seeks to include a web database for every book ever published. It holds 23 million catalog records of books. It also seeks to be a web-accessible public library. It contains the full texts of about 1,600,000 public domain books, which are fully readable, downloadable and full text searchable. It offers access to an e-book lending program for over 250,000 recent books not in the public domain. In partnership with over 1,000 library partners from six countries, Open Library is a free, open-source software project, with its source code freely available on the Open Library site. Internet Archive Lending Library The Internet Archive Lending Library is a digital library of ebooks at archive.org. This system was introduced in 2010 to lend digital books over the Internet, both those in copyright and those out of copyright, using Adobe Content Server which uses digital rights management to ensure only one person can see a particular book at one time. As of June 18, 2014, this collection contained over 12,000 items, media collections. In addition to web archives, the Internet Archive maintains extensive collections of digital media that are attested by the uploader to be in the public domain in the United States or licensed under a license that allows redistribution, such as Creative Commons licenses. Media are organized into collections by media type, and into sub-collections by various criteria. Each of the main collections includes a community, sub-collection where general contributions by the public are stored. Audio collection The audio archive includes music, audio books, news, broadcasts, old-time radio shows and a wide variety of other audio files. There are over 200,000 free digital recordings in the collection. The sub-collections include audiobooks and poetry, podcasts, non-English audio, and many others. The Live Music Archive sub-collection includes over 100,000 concert recordings from independent artists.
as well as more established artists and musical ensembles with permissive rules about recording their concerts such as The Grateful Dead, and more recently, The Smashing Pumpkins. Also, Jordan's even has allowed Internet Archive to host a definitive collection of his father Warren's even concert recordings. The catalog ranges from 1976 to 2001 and contains 1,137 free songs. Brooklyn Museum This collection contains about 3,000 items from Brooklyn Museum. Images Collection This collection contains over 880,000 items. Cover Art Archive, Metropolitan Museum of Art, Gallery Images, NASA Images, Occupy Wall Street Flick Archive, and USGS Maps and are some sub-collections of Image Collection. Cover Art Archive The Cover Art Archive is a joint project between the Internet Archive and Music Brains, whose goal is to make cover art images on the Internet. This collection contains over 330,000 items. Metropolitan Museum of Art Gallery Images The images of this collection are from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This collection contains over 140,000 items. NASA Images The NASA Images Archive was created through a Space Act agreement between the Internet Archive and NASA to bring public access to NASA's image, video, and audio collections in a single, searchable resource. The IA NASA Images team worked closely with all of the NASA centers to keep adding to the ever-growing collection. The NASAimages.org site launched in July 2008 and had more than 100,000 items online at the end of its hosting in 2012. Occupy Wall Street Flick Archive This collection contains Creative Commons licensed photographs from Flick related to the Occupy Wall Street movement. This collection contains over 15,000 items. USGS Maps This collection contains over 59,000 items from Libra Map Project. Machinima Archive One of the sub-collections of the Internet Archive's video archive is the Machinima Archive. This small section hosts many Machinima videos. Machinima is a digital art form in which computer games the archive collects a range of Machinima films from internet publishers such as Rooster Teeth and Machinima.com as well as independent producers. The sub-collection is a collaborative effort between the Internet Archive, the How They Got Game Research Project at Stanford University, the Academy of Machinima Arts and Sciences and Machinima.com. Mathematics Hamid Naderi Yegener This collection contains mathematical images created by mathematical artist Hamid Naderi Yegener. Microfilm Collection This collection contains about 160,000 items. The books in this collection are from a variety of libraries, including the University of Chicago Libraries. The University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, the University of Alberta, Allen County Public Library, and the National Technical Information Service. Moving Image Collection The Internet Archive holds a collection of approximately 3,863 feature films. Additionally, the Internet Archive's Moving Image Collection includes newsreels, classic cartoons, pro- and anti-war propaganda, the video seller collection, Skip Pelsheimer's A.V. Geeks collection, early television, and ephemeral material from pre-linger archives, such as advertising, educational, and industrial films and amateur and home movie collections. Subcategories of this collection include IA's Brick Films Collection, which contains stop-motion animation filmed with Lego bricks, some of which are remakes of feature films. IA's Election 2004 Collection, a non-partisan public resource for sharing video materials related to the 2004 United States presidential election. IA's Fedflix Collection. Joint Venture NTIS 1832 between the National Technical Information Service and Public Resource Org that features the best movies of the United States government. 
from training films to history, from our national parks to the U.S. Fire Academy and the Postal Inspectors. IA's independent news collection, which includes sub-collections such as the Internet Archive's World at War competition from 2001, in which contestants created short films demonstrating why access to history matters. Among their most downloaded video files are eyewitness recordings of the devastating 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. IA September 11th Television Archive, which contains archival footage from the world's major television networks of the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, as they unfolded on live television. Net labels the archive has a collection of freely distributable music that is streamed and available for download via its Net Labels service. The music in this collection generally have Creative Commons license catalogs of virtual record labels. Open Educational Resources Open Educational Resources is a digital collection at archive.org. This collection contains hundreds of free courses, video lectures, and supplemental materials from universities in the United States and China. The contributors of this collection are Ars Digita University, Hewlett Foundation, MIT, Monterey Institute, and Naropa University. TV News Search and Borrow In September 2012, the Internet Archive launched the TV News Search and Borrow service for searching U.S. national news programs. The service is built on closed captioning transcripts and allows users to search and stream 30-second video clips. Upon launch, the service contained 350,000 news programs collected over three years from national U.S networks and stations in San Francisco and Washington, D.C. According to Cal, the service was inspired by the Vanderbilt Television News Archive, a similar library of televised network news programs. In contrast to Vanderbilt, which limits access to streaming video to individuals associated with subscribing colleges and universities, the TV news search and borrow allows open access to its streaming video clips. In 2013, the archive received an additional donation of approximately 40,000 well-organized tapes from the estate of a Philadelphia woman, Marion Stokes.